Good morning. It's a little bit after 10 a.m. I woke up a bit late today. I meant to wake up at like 7 a.m. but it just didn't happen. Um, so I woke up at like 9 a.m., made coffee, and my boyfriend and I drank coffee while he worked from home for a little bit. But now I need to start working. Since it's like after 10 a.m., I'm just gonna try and work an eight hour day no matter what time I start work at. So it's not a big deal, but there's definitely some incentive to getting up earlier so I can have my evenings to myself. But it's not a big deal because I'm just kind of spending the morning to myself, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, so I think I might, I'm sorry, I'm still really tired. I think I might, um, like shower and get ready for the day and then start work. What I have to do today is I have to start this rug commission that I'm working on. My frame is completely empty, my rug making frame. So I need to stretch some fabric over the frame. I gotta design all of the rugs that are gonna be on the frame. Put that on my projector project it onto the screen, trace everything, and then I can actually start with like the tufting, like the actual rug making. I kind of got a lot to do today. It's kind of a pain in the ass to project the designs when it's bright outside, so I either have to like cover my curtain with a second layer of something to make more blackout, or I have to wait for the evening time. Since I'm starting work late, it might work out anyway, where I can just do it at night. So, yeah. The commission that I'm doing is the One Piece Straw Hat Jolly Roger, their flag. So, I'm very excited for that. Honestly, while I'm at it, I might make myself one as well. <laughs> we'll see. That might be unnecessary, but I do kind of want some One Piece memorabilia that I make. Does that make sense? I want to make myself a One Piece rug. I just don't really know what it's going to look like yet. I have made one other One Piece rug, but I did sell that one to my buddy. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get, get ready. Okay, my hair is still wet, but I showered, put on some sunscreen and a tiny bit of makeup. We're ready to start the day for real. I might need to make one more cup of coffee and then we'll be ready. Well, according to my notes that I made yesterday, I'm supposed to tidy up the studio before I do all this rug making stuff. Um, I don't want to, <laughs> but for you guys, since you're watching, I will, okay? I'm gonna tidy up my studio. Uh, this is what my studio looks like right now, at least the floor. So I'm gonna just tidy up the floor because I have to put the fabric on this big frame, that thing. For context, it is a Tuesday. I'm kind of pretending like it's my Monday though. Yesterday, I worked like a super short day because I worked on Sunday. So yesterday, Monday was kind of my Sunday where I just like took care of stuff around the home. But I like shut my studio and told myself that this is like a working day task. Uh, so I didn't clean this yesterday. It's really not too bad, it's just kind of a lot of clutter everywhere. Uh, whatever, it'll be fine. Also, yes, I'm back in my sweatshirt because it's way cozier. And 
would I, I work from home. Why would I wear something not cozy? pack this Gigi rug to go out to someone. So I'm going to try and find the appropriate box. Thankfully with these you can fold them super easily. So like, something like this would even be too big. I might try and put it in a mailer and just fold it in half. We'll see. I usually put them in boxes but since this one is so small I might try and do something else. I'm at the post office. I've got my package already uh, pre-labeled. So 
I don't even have to, sorry, I'm gonna turn the radio down. Um, I just have to go in there and literally just like throw this on the table. I use pirate ship. I know, I know a lot of people like my age don't really know how to like ship things. I honestly wasn't exactly sure how to either. Thankfully my mom works for the post office. So she kind of taught me some tips. But I do use pirate ship to prepay and prepay and like pre-print my labels, my shipping labels. Doing this saves you a few dollars. I think this was supposed to be like 10 or $12 or something. And I end up paying like eight. So I probably saved like three bucks. Um, savings go up more once you have like a bigger package, but yeah. So all these people have to like wait in line at the post office, talk to the clerk. They have to weigh it and everything and get a label. Whereas I just have to go and like literally throw it on the counter and I get to bypass the line. So if you one, wanna save money, two, are an introvert, or three, wanna save time, you should always pre-buy your labels. Even if you don't own a business, you're pretty much always gonna save money. So if you have like a printer, very worth it. Okay, I'm gonna go drop it off. Now I'm gonna start uh, stretching my monk's cloth over my frame. So I have like a huge roll of monk's cloth, so I'm just gonna have to put it on the frame and cut it out and just try and like be as smart as I can um, with conserving fabric. So yeah, I guess you'll kind of see what I mean. If you're wondering what I'm listening to, I am just re-watching Hunter x Hunter. The, I'm like at the very beginning of the Greed Island arc. Yep. This is the big roll of fabric. Uh, it looked a lot nicer when it first showed up. I've wrapped it up a couple times. <laughs> I just finished stretching the fabric over all of the nails on my frame. So now I'm just gonna cut it out from like the huge roll of fabric that you saw before. I'm gonna leave myself a few inches of space when I cut it because this fabric will kind of, um, oops. This fabric will kind of just start unraveling. This is where the lines in the fabric get really useful because I can stretch the fabric to follow some of these lines. So like right now I'm kind of trying to get them to follow this line here. So you can see these ones get off this line. So I'm just going to have to pull all these up 
the fabric is all stretched now, so I just have to draw out the design that I'll be projecting onto the frame. So I'm gonna do that now. drawing everything that's gonna be on the tufting frame. I might have crowded it a little bit, but I can always take stuff off. Um, it's really just a general reference. Uh, let's see here. So this is the commission, the Jolly Roger one piece one. And then I wanna do some small Jolly Rogers with no background. Uh, just cause I love one piece and I haven't really done enough one piece shit. And then I've done this design a few times. Um, so I'm just repeating that. And then I thought it would be cool to do some smaller ones. They're like that, these like plateaus. And lastly, I have part of the star tarot card that I've cut out, like really sloppily <laughs> on Procreate. Um, I'm just gonna do like a one color background, I think. I'm not gonna do like as complex as this is, but I wanna do um, the figure in the water and the vases and everything. So I've also done this tarot card, like the full tarot card, but I just wanna do something like a little bit simpler and I think this is gonna be super cool. So that's what I've got so far. You know what time it is. We're gonna project all the designs onto this big frame, onto the fabric, and I'm going to just trace everything. Um, so I'm just setting up my screen.
I decided to do two of these star tarot card figures. Um, I just think it's gonna be a really fun design. I would just want I just wanted to do two right away. I ended up doing two tarot card rugs here. I just think the design is gonna be pretty cool, so I wanted to do two two right away. The this here and this square here, a rectangle. Those are gonna be the bodies of two different purses that I'm gonna make. Um, like this. Uh, yeah, that's the commission. Yep, so tomorrow is when I'm gonna actually start to tuft everything. And this is the back side of the rug, so everything is gonna be mirrored in the finished product. Right, Quincy? All right, well. Look at this big baby. <laughs> Well, I finished drawing everything on the frame, for the most part. Uh, so I'm gonna call it quits for the day. It's like 7.30, so... Oh my god, Quincy. So that works out pretty well. Um, Quincy has been like, trying to cuddle and get me to hang out with him, so... Can't complain too much. It's about like 7.30 and I try not to use my tufting gun like after around this time just because it's a little bit loud and I do have downstairs neighbors. Um, I don't know if they can hear it at all. My boyfriend thinks that... I don't know if they can hear it at all, but I don't know. I just think it's courteous. Plus it gives me like a good time to... It like kind of forces me to quit by having a time I should be done by. Okay, he's doing like the tiniest little biscuits. Biscuit making on my on my chest. Now he's eating. drawing everything on the tufting frame and the fabric so now I'm just gonna quit for the night. I might do a tiny bit of video editing. I'll probably just like upload all of this footage from the day on my computer and just let that sit as it uploads. It shouldn't take too long though. <laughs> Alright well thank you for spending today with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little daily vlog. Um, I feel like it wasn't that eventful, but that's okay, I guess. I hope you enjoyed this daily vlog. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this daily vlog. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe. Maybe leave a comment and tell me that you liked it. Uh, Quincy would be very happy if you did. Look at him. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's enough.